Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to find the numbers at which f is discontinuous. We're also asked at which of these numbers is f continuous, from the right, from the left, or neither, and to sketch the graph of f. So what we have to do here, first, let's sketch the graph because that'll give us a better visualization of what's going on here. So here we have a piecewise function, so we're going to graph the individual pieces. So if x is less than 0, then we're using the function x plus 2. So we start at the um, y-intercept at 2, and we keep it an open circle because we're not including 0. And then we have a slope of 1, right? So that's going to look something like this, going over to the right 1 and up 1. And we could just draw it like that, going off to negative infinity. The function is equal to e to the x if x is between 0 and 1. So that looks a little bit like this, where we are starting at 0, at the point 0, 1, and we're ending at 1, which is going to be at the point 1, e. And we're inclusive on both sides, so we're shading in these circles to denote that the function is equal to these values. And it looks like that. And then 2 minus x if x is greater than 1, so we start at e, y-intercept of 2, to the right one, down 1, um, so we're starting at this point right here, again, open circle because it's actually equal to e at that point, and then it's going down like that. If I didn't uh, misdraw the line, it's a little squiggly, but you get the point. And so we can expect two discontinuities here. At 0 and 1, the function is discontinuous either from the right or the left. We'll get into that. Um, so we're checking 0 and 1 because we can see that we have x plus 2 is a polynomial, e to the x is an exponential, and 2 minus x is a polynomial. And we know from theorem 7 that polynomials and exponentials, among other functions, are continuous over their domains. So that means that the only place we have to check whether this function is discontinuous is at the points where we're switching from one function to another, so that's at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. So we have to check the limit as x approaches 0 from the left, from the right, and f of 0. And we have to check the limit as x approaches 1 from the left, 1 from the right, and f of 1. So the limit as x approaches um, 0 from the left of this function. From the left means we're doing values smaller than 0, so we're going to use x plus 2. For none of these do we have a domain restriction, so we can just plug in 0 directly. So this is going to be 0 plus 2 is equal to 2. The limit as x approaches 0 from the right, this is going to be plugging in values that are greater than um, 0. So we're going to use e to the x. So e to the 0, which is 1. And f of 0 is the value of the function at 0. So at x equals 0, we use e to the x. So that's just e to the 0 again, which is 1. And therefore, we can say that the limit as x approaches 0 does not exist because the limit as x approaches 0 from the left and the right do not equal each other. And therefore, we can say that it can't be continuous um, because if it doesn't exist, it can't equal f of 0. For um, x approaching 1 from the left, that's approaching 1 from values smaller than 1, so we're going to use e to the x. So that's e to the 1, which is e. Approaching from the right, that's values greater than 1, so we're using 2 minus x, so 2 minus 1 is 1, and f of 1 at x equals 1, or it's equal to e to the x, so e to the 1, which is e. And again, the limit as x approaches 1 also does not exist, therefore it can also not equal f of 1. So these, the function is discontinuous at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. At x is equal to 0, we can see that the limit as x approaches 0 from the right is equal to f of 0, so it's continuous from the right. And at x is equal to 1, the limit as x approaches 1 from the left is equal to f of 1, so it's continuous from the left.